Let's talk about accordions, shall we? The UI element, not the musical instrument. Its basic purpose is to hide and show info, while gracefully animating its appearance. But um, how do we create these things? I know that there is a tool called JavaScript, but I don't want to use it. Seems very complicated and totally strict language. I mean, these are just menus and accordions, right? Why don't I just use CSS to do it? First, I need some sections. They don't have to be fancy, but they must contain a lot of info. And they already leave the confines of this world. Okay, let's add some titles. That way we know which section is which. And a little bit of styling. Don't forget the chevron there. Right. So now we have a lot of info and not enough screen space to show it. So how am I supposed to add and show that info without JavaScript? Like those accordions in that new fancy UI library. We need something to click on. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I know, a checkbox. It is clickable and it does not need additional code to do so. Okay, now what? I can put the checkbox in a title and click it, but nothing will magically happen. And a user won't want to click on a tiny square just to open a tab of text. Well, what if we put the section titles in the label tag? I know that if you add a label to the ID of the checkbox with a for attribute, it will click the checkbox for you, okay? Now that's a start. I know that there is a sibling selector in CSS that can cascade down my styles. So what if I use it to do a check if the checkbox is checked, pun intended, and then propagate these styles down to my content? Let's make the text red. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so I can style my element based on some state of a previous element that is a sibling to the targeted element. Okay. That means that I can tell my content to be initially hidden and then show it when the checkbox is active. Yeah, it kinda works, but it is not the effect I was looking for. I need to slowly reveal the text and not just spawn it into existence. I need another way of doing it. I know that animations are a thing, but they only work with specific values. And I don't know how large my text is going to be. Mm. I've heard of this trick that allows you to hide and show text, but it uses CSS grid. I just have to set my content to be a grid, and then it set its template rows to be 0FR. That means they take 0 fractions of the available space, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to use a sibling selector to set the rows to 1FR, or 1 fraction of the available space. After that, I just need to add a container around my text and set its overflow to hidden. Uh-huh, and it does the same thing as before. Hmm, oh wait, what if I add a transition? Yeah, 300 seconds is... And voila, our content hides and shows seamlessly. We can hide our checkbox now, but I wonder, can I make it so that when I click an item, it closes any other items? I can't use JavaScript to uncheck all the boxes, so... oh. I got it, I'll just change the checkbox to a radio button, because I know that only one radio button can be checked at a time. Let's just not forget to give him a name. Yes, it works perfectly, and I can keep adding more items. But there is another problem here, I can't close the accordion after opening it. I can cycle between items, but I can't click and close the same item like I did with the checkbox, because radio buttons are not unselectable. Let me think. Hmm. Well, I can try and use a reset button that resets a form to its initial value. That may work. I just need to wrap my content with a form and set a get method so that it doesn't refresh my page by accident. Then I need to add reset buttons on the bottom of every list element. Just a little bit of styling to make them invisible. And some more styling to make them visible only when the item is checked. Position them absolutely so they occupy the whole space of the item. And... It works! Here is how to make an accordion without any JavaScript and with a few tricks. Make sure to check the description in my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!